Uh, River Supers, of course, uh, just won the Chief of Defence Staff uh, Invitational uh, Basketball Championship in Abuja, yeah, defeating Boko City Chiefs. We talked about that on the show yesterday. Now they are prepared for the defence of their Nigeria Premier Basketball League title. I mean, uh, good to see, uh, of course, uh, the Basketball League uh, again. And uh, now the Atlantic Conference will be in Benin City from the 25th of October. Media officer of uh, River Supers. Uh, talking about um, Queen John Mosert joins us now from Lagos. Uh, Queen, uh, always good to have you on ADBN Sport. The last time it was about the Basketball Africa League, uh, where your team, of course, uh, represented Nigeria so well. And now, uh, of course, uh, you just won the Chief of Defense Staff um, Basketball Tony, and you are preparing for the Nigeria Premier, uh, Premier Basketball League. Now, talk us through the uh, CDS uh, invitation at first. How was your team able to capture that particular title? Yeah, the CDS um, competition um, was like a five-day competition, and um, it was used to celebrate the Independence Day, mm -hmm. um, hosted by the Chief of Defence Staff. Um, he's a lover of the game, uh, because some people were surprised that as the Chief of Defence Staff <laughs> of the Nigerian Army is one putting this together. Yes, he's a lover of the game. He played the game as well um, during his um, youth. We also had the veterans game just before the final, and he also played in that particular final. So you, you just use it to celebrate Independence Day and also to give back as well. Mm -hmm. And he's also trying to implement some um, things for the youth in Abuja right there. So they just put together some of the best teams across um, the country, especially the teams who finished number one and two. I remember uh, Stitches and um, River Super as my team. Um, finished first and second yeah. from the 2023 Nigeria Premier Basketball League in that final four held in Port Harcourt last year in November. For us, when we got the invitation, um, it was a welcome development for us because um, since finishing at the BAL um, in May, we had not played any competitive basketball, although our players were still uh, trying to keep fit and also play their pickup games around the country, but we had not played together since May. So using that... Um, platform or avenue to prepare for the league, knowing quite well that the league comes up in like two weeks' time in Benin. We didn't want to go into the league, uh, much rusty, uh, struggling with fitness, struggling with chemistry and all of that. So we just had to honor the invitation. So it's not just even alone um, going for the win. We know winning is sweet. We love to win. We love to compete. We love to do well. But then again, for you to stay winning, you have to prepare. And the bigger picture um, was that, um, or is, the Nigerian League, which is um, defending our title and going back to the BAL for next year. So we had to use this um, invitational tournament or competition to prepare ourselves. We also have like um, two new players or three new players joining the team. So we have to also build our chemistry to our head of the league. Though so majorly the bigger picture for us was not just winning this tournament, was preparing for the league and which I'll tell you that it actually did us a whole lot of good. Mm -hmm. At the start of the of the tournament in, on Wednesday, we we're struggling. Even though we defeated City Chiefs, it was a bit of struggle for us. Not just us alone. City Chiefs also struggled in that game um, because um, they also have not played together for a long time. So everybody or most teams are just coming together, um, apart from the fact that a few teams who have been playing friendly games or invitational tournament here and there, which has been keeping a lot of teams going since we have not had the league in 10 months. So um, going that again um, in that game, it was difficult, but we came back in the fourth quarter and, and made sure we um, stayed unbeaten because we've not lost. Yeah. The last time we lost in Nigeria, Nigeria is 2022, mm -hmm. where we lost in the semi-final uh, to Nigeria Customs, and we couldn't go to the final, which at the end of the day, Quara Falcons won the league and went to yeah. the BL last yeah, year. Yeah. So, preparatory tournament for us. Uh, we played six games in five days, and um, we won all. We didn't lose to any any anybody. We, were, um, we faced off um, against uh, City Chiefs twice in our opening group game and then in the final as well. The final was just like a final game of the Nigerian League. And um, basketball fans or Nigerian fans should watch out. That might still be the final <laughs> of the Nigerian yeah. League. Yes, because these are two of the best, yeah. most prepared team. But I won't rule out the, the likes of Hoops and Reed. Yeah. Hoops and Reed, too, uh, won the Eco Basketball League. 
um, two weeks ago. So they also are also well prepared as well. So, but okay. I won't rule out the fact that these two teams are still the teams to beat in Nigeria. So, but it was a good preparatory tournament for us preparing for the league. It was also good to add the icing on the cake of winning um, the, 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 the tournament as well as the prize money attached to it. So all the same is was a preparatory tournament for us and good. We also ended up winning. Um, we had a tough game in the semi-final. We won had the quarterfinal we were thinking was going to be difficult for us against Pano Pillars was not even as difficult as the game against um, Suleja Hornets, a bunch of um, young, young boys, athletic, yeah. aggressive players. And you know uh, this thing about um, a champion. Everybody wants to beat the beat champion. champion yeah. Everybody wants to beat River Hoopers. So, but it was good enough that the boys ensured that um, even though they were 12 points behind into the fourth quarter, they turned it around with two minutes left to play. And the experience just made a difference for us. And we were able to win that game to go into the uh, final to face City Chiefs. So all in all, we are, we are grateful to the CDS okay. for putting this together and um, making the boys smile at the end of the day. Okay, now, uh, very quickly, I know, of course, uh, you are communications director at uh, River Super. Just quickly, uh, in a minute or two, uh, I listened to your coach after that final. Uh, you also lamented the absence of um, action for a long time. 25th of, of October, your team will be in Benin City. Uh, with what you've seen this last week, how ready are you uh, to start the defense of your title? And then, uh, this absence of uh, action for a long time, 10 months, 11 months, uh, what are the stakeholders really doing to address this problem? We are ready. Um, looking at um, how we prepared, um, before last week, I would say we are not ready because um, you have to go into the uh, league to start um, ensuring that you use the first game, the second game to get yourself prepared. But um, we are grateful that um, uh, last week was used. Now I can tell you that we are ready. We are ready. And then for areas where we know that um, because you can't be 100% ready, at all times, you would use the tournament and then find areas where you need to work on. So we have two weeks to work on those areas, uh, things we, we think we didn't do well or which the players need to do better, as well as the coaching crew. So we have two weeks to just um, finish up and tidy up things ahead of um, okay. um, the um, first phase, which is in Benicity. Benicity then yeah. your second question concerning what are the uh, stakeholders yeah. doing? Um, I'm sorry to say, I don't think they're doing much. Okay because this is seven years. The last time we had a proper league was yeah. 2017. Seven years without the mm -hmm. league, and um, each year we go into the year having our league in October, November, which is not good for the game, not good for basketball in Nigeria, not good for the players, because especially for most of the players, uh, they're not aiming to travel out of Nigeria yeah. to play. Some have ventured into other stuff than just playing basketball. Some will just have to involve themselves in other things. And then whenever the league comes, they come back into it. So it really doesn't help the game, doesn't help the coaching crew, doesn't help teams to prepare. Also doesn't help the media because at the end of the day, we are just like everywhere is dormant. Yeah. It's, nothing is really happening. You don't get to talk about basketball. Yeah. So really nothing is happening. We're just hoping the stakeholders will just have to learn at the end of the day. Seven years is a long time. We just keep hoping. We just keep hoping. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Queen, uh, for your time on the show. When your team gets to Benin City, we get to talk more, of course, about the Atlantic Conference and also the Savannah Conference, of course. Thanks so much. Uh, do enjoy the rest of your day in Lagos. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, uh, that was uh, uh, Queen uh, Musev, uh, of course, uh, the communications director at uh, River Supers.